Hello Internet Minecraft users and YouTubers. Um, today I'm going to do the first part of my farming series. Um, I'm going to teach you how to make a chicken farm. Now I did record this a little earlier um, but I had a problem. Um, the video wasn't syncing up with the audio so I removed most of it but left the holes that I dug out. So what I have here is a 4x8 um, up until this point and then it's uh, the ninth one is one lower so it's 8 x eight, eight and 4 deep and the then dig an extra one so uh, the ninth one is five deep. This one here is just so that you can access it. Okay. So now I shall go and get everything that I need. And I don't think I got signs. So no, I didn't. God damn it! I'll have to use my mod for that. Um, so we got some fences, two waters to make our infinite water. Um. But I'll just spawn that so that it's easier. Um, but I'll show you how it's done just in case some people don't know. It's one of the things that is mostly on a video. So we just go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, do, do, do. So the hole is two by two and one high. Just place one in that corner and place one in that corner. And that there is infinite water. I can grab as much water from this as I want. See? Just rejuvenates. Alright. Now let's kill the water and just bash all this out probably wondering why I've, it's so easy for me to do the thing, it's part of zombie mods um, and the builder up in the corner uh, a couple of options in there make you just absolutely belt the crap out of things um, and also you don't lose any inventory um, so I need to put the dirt back for now and grab some signs. So I'll just grab a sign. Uh, you'll see why I need the signs in a minute. Oh, and I'll, sorry, I'll grab some water too. Grab as many as I can, I guess. Okay. Now let's go. Um, Alright, so. Shit, that's too far in. Yes, it is. So, first of all, I need to place these back up on here so that I can place my fences on it. Okay, so you got your 8x8, eight 4 eight, deep, place the fence all the way around it. Uh, I'll just place a block there instead of hacking. Jump up. Now, as soon as you're up here, um, as you know, they're one and a half blocks, that's why you can't just jump up on them and you can't go over them. Um, but once you've got a second one done, uh, you can just walk up onto it like a normal size block. Um, shouldn't take too long. Hopefully. Um, yeah, my last video um, that I ever posted um, to date was in regards to chicken farms actually. Um, and how much they shit me. Uh, I've seen chick a lot of chicken farms and they weren't they weren't in enough detail. Um, now they did the standard uh, water placement of just placing it at one end and having the chickens in there and then having everything flow through. When I recreated those, especially on an SMP server um, or on a server full stop, um, the chickens kept dying because they kept getting pushed into blocks 
um, and places where they shouldn't have been and they would die because of that. Um, now I'm going to go three high with my fence so that it makes it easier in the long run. Um, but yeah, like it's... I don't know, it's difficult. It's hard to um, find good help. Um, but yeah, th these are... I, th I think this is a pretty good design, obviously, because I did it. Um, but not only that, uh, you can have a nice little chicken farm where you can see your chickens. Um, you can place glass or anything around, I guess. Um, but I don't mind the like, look at the fences, especially now that we can stack them. So, let's drop down and start on the next bit. Now, we need to place um, signs around. So we'll just pop our layer back there. Um, so yeah, you cut out your 8x8 and then cut out a 3 at the end so that you can hop down and up and do whatever you need to do. Um, but yeah, that's 8x8, eight eight, then do your fences, chop one deep by three. Um, and I'll place that back because I don't want that showing just yet. Uh, now, I want the water level to be, the water to be on that block there. So, let's hope that I get my sign back. Um, I'll place signs. No, they're not going to give back to me. Okay. Let's do it this way then. Alright. I place signs on top of one another. They'll take up the blocks and it will stop the water from coming down and also allow your chickens to be up the top uh, at the same time. So it's, uh, I think it's pretty handy. Uh, I, I didn't use ladders because you can't stack ladders. Um, like I'm doing here, um, you'd need to have things in their way and I think that's going to defeat the purpose of what I'm trying to do. Um, trapdoors, I'm not 100% sure if things will pass through them. Um, I know water doesn't, um, but I'm not sure about objects themselves if they'll pass through them or if they'll balance on that little ledge that if you uh, jump across doors or whatever uh, in some adventure maps you'll notice you can stand on them um, hopefully like, I, I don't know if you can um, get an item trapped on that or not if it's open um, being the reason that I haven't used them uh, otherwise you'll have eggs and crap balancing on them and I didn't want that. Nothing gets stuck on a fence. Well, maybe some people can get stuck on fences, but what I meant to say is nothing gets stuck on a sign. Uh, you have some people running over, well, in Australia anyway, keep left signs. I'm sure you have the same in uh, America for your keep right signs. Um, but yeah, there shouldn't be much longer. So 8x8, eight eight, you're going to need a fair few signs made up. 8 um, times 8 is 40, 48, 56, 64. So you're going to need a fair few signs. And I do apologise about that, it's a little bit expensive. But hey, they're only trees. Tree farms are fairly easy to make. Um, and just use some bone meal and stuff stop bitching. Um, okay, now we're going to place our water. Um, usually I would just dig the two deep to start with, then all three deep and place the signs, um, and then you've got that extra layer to stand on. But since I can't do that, I'm going to cheat and fly, uh, because I've fucked up. Okay. Uh, eight by eight, so place one in the corner, each corner. You notice that the water's not going through the signs, 
it's acting as it would normally. Um, then I'm going to place one there, one there, one there, one there, one about there, and again one about there. We're slowly getting there. There we go. So there you go. You just place one in each corner, then the th third one from that, well, two away from that on each side, and then pick two centers and place them in there. So it's at four, six, two, four, six, ten, twelve water buckets. Fourteen water buckets you'll need for that bit. Okay. After you've done that, you'll notice you can happily stand under here. Um, after you've done that, if you only dig too deep, uh, I suggest you dig the next layer. And then it. just place water as you so, um, place one, leave a gap, place one, leave a gap. As long as they all flow through to the back and they don't leave a gap. Right? You do not want a gap across here because you want your eggs to drop into this channel and then you simply take out that block which will flow you through to there and then you take out that block that block which will throw you th flow you through to the center now, I'm not sure if you can tell or not but the water is actually angling in and this one just goes straight but because the two waves are connecting they flow into the center and it'll all just flow right here where you're standing. Um, that's the way it's going to be for now anyway. Um, 